Hi everyone and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen where Ingalls caters some of the best events anywhere. I'm Josh Michael here with Chef Kale and today we're showing you how to make some amazing food right there at home. So Chef, uh, what are we doing today? What is your favorite smell when you walk into your mother's house? Uh, it's probably bread. Bread! All right. Nailed it! Right answer. So that's what we're going to do today. I see this, the yeast is The yeast is, is starting to love the, <laughs> the world here. So what we have is we heated up our milk, butter, and our water okay. to about 120 degrees. If you go above that, it is, it's actually going to kill your yeast. Ah, well, yeah, okay, makes sense. Right, so we're going to put that into our bowl. Also, another thing that'll kill yeast is salt. So you always put your salt on the bottom of your bowl. Okay. We have our five cups of flour. We just threw our yeast in. Excellent. We'll put the rest of our liquid, two beaten eggs, make sure they're beaten pretty well. Very nice. And some sugar. All right. You can also start your yeast off with some sugar because it likes to eat that too. Take that. Thanks, friend. All right. So we're gonna let this go, and you want to knead it until it starts coming coming um, on the sides of the bowl for about six to seven minutes. Okay. So you right. want it to stick. You do want it to stick inside the bowl. Right. Yeah. Right. It'll come across, and then on your dough hook, it'll start making a little ball. Okay. And then you can add a little bit of flour as if, needed, if needed. If you need to. Yeah. Our bench flour right here, just in case. Okay. Just to get that consensus. So we're gonna let that and pretend that we uh, we did all that. And Chef Kale got it right the first time anyway. <laughs> right. So you're gonna put it in a bowl. Okay. Cover it. Put it in a warm spot for about mm, about an hour, hour and a half until it, it doubles in size. Just like on the counter or something like that, though, right? Not like in the oven. No, or no, no. Okay, all right. I've never done this before. You're teaching me all kinds of new stuff here. So look at this. It's just gorgeous. That's awesome. It's just gorgeous. So now what we're gonna do is make clover leaves. Okay. And this is called punching in the baking world. You're just getting all the air and working the gluten in the bread. Excellent. So this is called scaling. And what we're gonna do is make little balls. Okay. You try to make it as um, consistent as you can. All right. So to roll, and this is really important, and it takes a lot of time, you use the back of your hand, push and pull back, push and pull push back. And, pull. Okay. and then when you get really good, you make a ball. Bam, easy enough. Right, just yep. like Play-Doh. Go ahead and give All her right. a shot. Let me do one. And these are called clover leaves. Back and, back and front, back so and front. So all the way there, there you go. And you're gonna do three little balls. Into one? Into one. Okay, all right. And awesome. through the tap, the, oh, Josh, honey, <laughs> honey, we'll work on it. All right, sounds good. Go ahead and show us what it looks like when it comes out of the all oven. All right, Magic TV, we've got it right here. Oh, those are awesome. And they look familiar, because I know you can get these in the Ingalls Bakery as that's well. That's right, that's right. All right, thanks so much for joining us here at the Chef's Kitchen. For more great recipes and to learn more and about having the Chef's Kitchen cater your next event, visit thechefskitchen.com. See you next time.